Okay, so this is my um, CNC3040 router, which is pretty cool. And uh, down here is the controller for it. Now, the controller is parallel port driven. And um, unfortunately, a piece of crap here doesn't have a parallel port on it, which is, you know, fairly typical for a modern computer. Who'd want to control anything useful? Right, so anyway, solution to that, what I have here is, um, once again, the handy uh, um, Arduino. These things are just freaking terrific, aren't they, really? You just you do so much with them. So, um, in the Arduino is loaded something called uh, GRBLT, and it's a, um, something like that anyway. What, what it is, is it's a um, G-code um, interpreter. So in there um, is like true arc sign um, correction and all of that stuff, and it's set up basically to just um, drive you know um, direction and step pins in the same way that you drive a normal stepper. So what I'm doing, um, the way that this works is that of course the um, USB that's there speaks RS232, so I can put a command into the terminal here. Just give me a second to type that out. Excuse me, because I'm holding this with one hand. So, so um, a um, command. Ah, difficult to type and hold the phone at the same time. N0. G0. Right, so I'm sending a G code command. And then X. That will be X axis. 100. No, make it just like 10. Or negative 10, because I don't want it to crash into the stop. Okay, so here we go, I'm gonna hit that. Uh, there you go. Voila! It lives. Right, so of course that controls all the accesses. Now the CNC30 routers don't come with limit switches. So that's the very next thing that I'm gonna do. And possibly tomorrow or on Thursday I'm gonna go and buy a full size PC. But that was still an interesting exercise anyway in getting that little thing to work.